Hi Capricorn, I'm G1 with G1 Insights and this is your extended mini love reading. <laughs> I know that was real dramatic right now. <laughs> this is your extended mini love focus for the month of April 2020. Okay, Capricorn, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. Capricorn, your love is so amazing this season. Okay. So when I did your life and love energy, I was blown away because I couldn't believe that you guys have really come from a place of being like really, really upset. And now you're going into this place, not really upset, but just like discontentment. Okay. And for so long, to like going into this place of contentment, being satisfied, being equipped and ready for life. Like you guys are like a flower that's blossoming over and over and over again. Okay? The universe is so proud of you though, Capricorn, for that very reason. Because it's like, you know, just like I said to you in the month of December, the next three months for you will be very powerful. And whatever you did though in those three months... Is going to literally begin to manifest as you go along. And here we are. It's spring in the States. And Capricorn, let's just say you have done your work. Okay? So without further ado, I'm going to present you with your extended mini love focus. You know, because when I did everyone's life love energy for the month of April, I, spirit just, I don't know. Some men just kept nagging at me. It just kept saying, do love. Do a mini love focus. Do a love focus. Like, it just kept nagging at me, Capricorn. So I had to do it, okay? And I know you guys don't like a lot of long talk, so let's get to it, okay? Whew, because I don't want to run you guys away. All right, Capricorn, here we go. You ready? I hope you are. <laughs> Because God has been good to you, honey. All right? Woo, love call. Absolutely. Somebody is calling you up saying, listen, we need to talk. Okay? I got my eyes on you. I've been thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Lord have mercy. We need to work things out. Okay? You're my baby. I can't live without you. You know, we've been through so much. Okay? For some of you, this may not even be an ex. This may be someone that you're currently dealing with. And all of a sudden, out of the sky blue, out of nowhere, they're like, oh, I just want to confess my love to you. Right? Like, they're really, really being like all over you out of nowhere and you you're not used to that right like yeah you already had you always tend to have like great love around you right whether it's through friends or girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever right however <laughs> not like this i don't love like this <laughs> you've been waiting so long for love like this i wish i could play that song during this video but anyway, this person is like really, really, really showing you what's on their brain, okay? And it's, it's not money, it's not fame, it's not the rest of the people in the world, it's not pain, and it, none of that stuff. It's you. They got you on the brain, Capricorn, because they realize, you know what, like, she was really a good friend. He was a really good lover. He always held the bills down, always took good care of the home, you know. He always made sure I was okay. No matter what, you stay riding with me, and that's why I love you. Oh, this is a different type of energy, Capricorn. You've been waiting so long for a love like this. <laughs> I should title your video this. Anyway, let's move on, Capricorn, because this is getting juicy, okay? So this is a message of love. Somebody either writing you a song, writing you a poem, reaching out, calling you, showing you just how romantic they can really be, or perhaps this is just simply someone really genuinely just confessing their love for you. Like, you know what? I really do think of you all day. I really do love you. You're amazing to me. I don't want to be without you. Can we please take things further? You know, being genuine, being honest. That's what this is. All about honesty. Confessing our love for one another. And so I love the month of April for this reason because Venus, the planet of love, is going to be in Gemini the first week of April. Okay? So we get to see the wow side of someone, the adventurous side side of someone the intellectual side of someone the spiritual side of someone and it's gonna be like something we've never seen before so and this can be good or bad capricorn but how you handle it makes a difference you know what i'm saying and i think by how you handle it is gonna make this person realize 
I really can't be without this person. You know? Like, they wouldn't realize they really can't be without you. So this is going to be beautiful. They're thinking of you, and they are letting you know that they don't want to be able to be without you. Abundance is the next card. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy, Capricorn. Abundance. I'm happy. I'm in my own little world. You know, God is good. Keeping a positive mindset. Staying focused. Capricorn, you know, just like I told you recently, this is interesting. Like, a lot of your energy is the same. You have manifested this moment. You knew that this could happen, right? Like, you knew that this person might propose to you. You knew that you was going to make an impact by your um ovation okay or by you standing up for what's right by you making a choice to speak your mind you knew that something was about to take place and that is what made this person fall for you because they see the boss in you and they are attracted to the boss in you okay so that is why this person can't seem to let you go because they see that you have qualities that they have been searching for and you have it but it didn't come overnight you have been manifesting this thing you've been working at it praying about it Fasting about it, working hard at it, getting cursed out about it, losing shit over it, okay? You have been manifesting this thing. So whether the, the whether this blessing comes from pain or whether this blessing comes from just you praying about it, it is what it is. I feel like this is the perfect time for you, Capricorn, to celebrate your love, okay? This is going to be good for you, Capricorn, because you're realizing we are so blessed, right? This can be something for you and your spouse. Maybe you guys are realizing just how blessed you really are, okay? You and your spouse taking a road trip together. Maybe even, or possibly planning a road trip together. You and your spouse planning on going into business together. Or you actually, even if you're single, actually meeting someone new. Getting to know someone. Like I said, somebody is coming through expressing their love for you. Okay? And this is not easy for them, Capricorn, because you have a very tough exterior about your personality. And it makes them feel very shy. And sometimes they wish that you can be very submissive at times. They want you to be very like, all right. You know, like they want you to have this energy about you and that is not who you are. And they're like, I just can't, you know... This motherfucker here, like, <laughs> they're like, you won't listen, you know, and they, they can't really quite get you to just shut up and be submissive, right? But it's just something about you, Capricorn, that they just can't seem to shake. It's interesting. It's so crazy. Like, they really can't shake your energy. So let's move on. I'm going to go deeper into this. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. Watch how spirit moves. Look. Oh, Cupid's arrow, okay? So, having faith that love is coming. For those of you that are single, love is coming. You're going to actually meet your soulmate or your twin flame this season. Because, you know how I know? <laughs> Aries season, the beginning of the month, we are still dealing with Aries energy. However, it's going to end... And it's going to end in... Taurus, right? The month of April is going to end in Taurus. And so, yes, we're crazy, possessive, and a little wild, the very beginning of April, right? But then towards the second or third week of April, we become more serious. We start to realize, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to be without you. I need you by my side, you know? And so, whoever this person is, they literally are being shot with Cupid's arrow. They're literally given a chance to see you for who you are for the first time in a long time. Even if you guys have been together for a really long time, they're seeing you for really like the very first time. And they're like, this person is amazing. I love them. Like I'm, I'm head over heels, infatuated. Okay, have faith, but love is coming. Okay, there's also some type of surprise, Capricorn. So I don't know who's getting married or engaged or possibly finding out that they're pregnant or Maybe you guys are discussing to even have children, right? And maybe this is something that you guys are sharing with the rest of the family. But this is definitely going to be a season where you guys get to celebrate and have fun. So Capricorn, loosen up a little bit this season. We understand it's tough. We understand you got to work and make ends meet. But we, you know, Spirit also understand that you deserve love. 
You know, you deserve to let your hair down and have a good moment and that you you get to smile and be okay with not also being okay. Like, it's not always okay, right? But when you have the right person by your side, Capricorn, nothing can beat that. So I need you to remember that, Capricorn. When you got the right person by your side, nothing can go wrong because they will be there to love you, to protect you, to honor you, to grant you the best wishes ever. And they will be supportive and loving and caring and sharing. And they will really go out on a limb to make sure that you understand how amazing you are. You know, so guess what? For the next six months, you're gonna be experiencing the bliss of a lifetime. And you're gonna be looking back at this video and you're gonna be like, G1 Insights did say that something amazing is about to come my way. You're gonna think about this. I see a lot of you looking back at this video going, wow, she did say that they're gonna start confessing their feelings. Like I see a lot of you doing that right so this is an invitation also like you may actually for those of you that's single you may actually meet this person at a wedding or some type of reunion or some type of family invitation somehow um either through you guys going out to get something to eat one day or possibly going to the market you're gonna meet somebody that is very very into you and they, they know you. And I mean, not to be weird and all, but they've been watching you from a distance. They know what your favorite color is. They know how sweet you are. They know just how amazing you are and how strict you could be. They know how funny you are. Like, they really do enjoy you. You know? Capricorn, this is interesting. Wow. Cancer got this energy, guys. They got both of these cards, actually. Love Call and hammer this is really really interesting i don't know if you guys have cancer energy in your birth chart or have water energy in your birth chart <laughs> but you guys are definitely either in a position where either you might even feel like I'm not normally a very vulnerable person, but I feel like with you, I have to be vulnerable. I feel like if I don't share my vulnerable side with you, I feel like we'll get nowhere. But for somebody else, they, they don't care. They, they're like, look, I'm going to show you how I feel whether you like it or not. You know, like they, they're ready for your comeback. They're smart ass mouth. Like they, <laughs> look at them, I'm not, I didn't write this, okay? But they're ready for your smart ass mouth. Like they're ready for you to talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> Capricorn, they're so ready for you that it's not even funny, okay? They're ready. Like I said, somebody's going to make a call. You can be literally calling them just and ask them a question, and the conversation literally goes to a whole new level, okay? You can be literally asking them something about um, a bag of groceries or um, a bag of bread or something, and the conversation would be like, I love your sexy ass. You know, like, it will be so romantic and beautiful that you'll forget all about the bread. Like, <laughs> you're like, did you just say that to me? Like, it will be a whole different conversation, Capricorn. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, okay? Let's see what else spirit has for you, my love, when it comes to your soul journey and what your soul is yearning for when it comes to love. Okay, is there anything that Capricorn, Summon, Rising, or Venus and Capricorn needs to know when it comes to their love energy for the month of April? I already pre shuffled these cards, Capricorn, so this would not take long. Okay? Not being afraid of failure, Capricorn. It is what it is. Either you guys are going to make it or you ain't. But guess what? I feel like you guys have been through so much that you're okay with the failure. You're okay. You're accepting the fact that it is what it is. It happens. It happens to the best of us. You know what I'm saying? Again, this is Cancer's energy, guys. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign or possibly dealing with a Cancer, okay? I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Also, this can be a Pisces as well or a Scorpio. Guys, please check that energy out. If you may be dating one of those water signs, you could have this energy in your birth chart somewhere. And you may not know it, guys. So I recommend that you check out your birth chart and find out what it means for you to keep, keep getting a lot of synchronicities, guys. Okay? So I love you, Capricorn. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. You guys are amazing. And I'm super excited to see your May focus for the month of May 2020. But this right here has been your April extended mini love reading. And I enjoyed this so much. So thank you for watching, Capricorn. You have a good one.